Pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is with a sky like this that you are very likely to feel a sense of abundance and a sense of possibility and power. And partly that is due to a full moon happening in the middle of the month, right around the 12th of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. This month's full moon will take place in a part of the sky for you that is connected to your relationship to financial institutions. That's on the one hand. And so things like grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, benefits you qualify for, all of that is covered here. But this part of the sky is also connected to a deeper wealth, a deeper sense of prosperity, of spirit, and of emotion. And this has to do with transformation, finding a wealth of power within you and knowing that you can transform yourself and transform your life in the way that you desire. There's a sense of authenticity with this part of the sky and releasing anything getting in the way with your most authentic expression. And so if it is that you are using this energy on the financial front, well, a beautifully aligned Pluto and Saturn will ensure not only that you are making the power move you need, but also that your results last. We've got a beautifully harmonious Neptune to this full moon, and that does suggest a sense of magic, a sense of blessings with you. Mercury is retrograde exactly across this full moon as well, which means that a financial opportunity you thought was gone comes back around at this time. Now, if you are using this energy more in terms of its transformative potential, this can be a time of reaping reward based on where it is that you have been working towards diligent change in your life and where it is that you are hoping to tap into a reserve within you to transform your circumstances for the better, we've got so much blessing here to make sure that you are focused and that you are effective in creating the kind of momentum you desire. Now, as we navigate late into the month, right around the 26th, well, look, late in the month, the last week of the month is lit up. There is so much going on. The new moon right around the 26th will be speaking in supreme harmony with Chiron. Now, it is this new moon happening in a part of the sky that has to do with information of all kinds. It has to do with communication of all kinds as well, along with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. That beautiful Chiron energy says there's a lot of healing on offer. And wherever it is that you're hoping for a fresh start with one of these people, that very well can transpire at this time, along with a sense of just getting good news that feels deeply healing, deeply meaningful to you. Now, this is further affirmed by the fact that two days before this new moon, we are going to have in the same part of the sky, a meeting of Venus and Jupiter. These two planets getting together just as Jupiter is rounding off a year, moving through this part of the sky for you. Well, this tells me that this is sort of a cherry on top, a bigger blessing based on the blessings that have been there for you that I spoke of in your Jupiter special horoscope. You may want to refer to that again. But having said that, this is that part of the sky having to do with mind and communication and perception. And you will be able to perceive with love in a way that ultimately is to your advantage in many areas of life in terms of prosperity, but in terms of your happiness as well. But if we're speaking about Venus and Jupiter for that matter. This is what astrologers call the most romantic day of the year. And it is this part of the sky that for most of the month is feeling very blessed with romantic energy. If you're open to meeting someone new, online connections or sort of informal connections that start on the mind level can go especially well. However, Mercury is retrograde. So that's where you want to be a little bit mindful. What you think you're getting might be a little bit different than what it actually is. 
But for all that, there's just such romantic conversation, such romantic talk happening at this time that it certainly can open your mind to the options available to you where it comes to matters of love. If you are just getting to know someone, I feel like this is going to be a time really all month, but certainly leading up to the new moon where the two of you are communicating more. You're able to speak more with each other. And as a result, fortify the love that the two of you share. It is the spontaneous moments that nurture the love the most. And for those of you who are in an established bond, you know, there are times where I do suggest, you know, maybe if you have something important to talk about, don't do it just yet. Around this new moon, there is just about anything that can be discussed. And it is in conversation that you're able to put the past behind you, that you're able to feel more grounded in the present, but also hopeful about the future that the two of you share. At the very least, there will be plans made around this new moon that have real roots and a real sense of coming together very quickly, moving the two of you forward with a renewed sense of understanding of the connection that you share. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I'm going to say it is Venus, your ruling planet, meeting Jupiter in the sky. That really is such a high point moment for you. And it isn't just about what's happening on a level of love or on a level of mind. Yes, that's a part of it, but it goes to a very personal level for you. It shapes you and changes you. This is a chance to see yourself more lovingly, to perceive with eyes of love. And the more it is that you are willing to perceive with love, the more of it that you'll find. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.